Hey y'all, what's up? We just got back from Disney World this week and we're so, so proud of ourselves because we're actually filming a haul and it's still actually the same week that we've been to Disney World. I don't... What? This, this doesn't usually ever happen. This never happens. We've been doing a lot of kind of different stuff, like being proud of ourselves. We haven't really done new <laughs> stuff, but we're doing, we're trying to like stay on top of things a bit more. At the same time, we kind of have to take back that statement because some of this stuff is Stuff that we got when we were at Disney for about two days, <laughs> two or three days, two to days. the 20th. Two part days. In May for our honeymoon. No, I always call it a honeymoon. Our anniversary trip. There you go. We went on a cruise and then we, we popped into Disney for about two days and we only picked up a, a few things so it wasn't enough to make the a The cruise took off. so much of our money we had none left to spend at <laughs> the parks. But we have a couple things left from that. Yeah, so we'll just kind of like smush them together. It's not enough to show in its own video so we're just gonna smush it all together. And here is another haul from Walt Disney World. Oakley, would you like to join? If you haven't met Oakley. This is our Yorkie. This is our firstborn child, Oakley. <laughs> He's my baby. He's dirty and he wants his toy. Okay, so we're going to just start with a few things that we got when we were there in May, just to get those out of the way, and then everything else will be from last week. So it is available if you're going to Disney World. And also, I did a poll on Instagram, because I don't ever know what to do. So I said, we don't ever know if y'all want us to tell you the prices of the stuff that we bought, because I don't want to be like, I spent $7, and I spent $700, and I said, you know, I don't, I don't, Sometimes people don't like that, but I always feel like we should do that because if we were planning a trip and we hadn't been to Disney World and we wanted to know kind of how much things cost yeah. and how much money we're going to want to bring for souvenirs, then I want somebody to tell me how much stuff costs so I don't have to just go look at everything on the app and try to add it all up whenever I can just tell you. So 85% of y'all said, how much was that? <laughs> But I'm just gonna try to tell you all the prices on anything that we still have the prices on. So to start it off, I finally got a t-shirt from my favorite ride, which is, if you don't know, it's Rock and Roller Coaster. I always go in there and there's not a lot of stuff in there that I'm like, oh, this is really my style. But I saw this t-shirt and I really liked it and it's comfy. Me and Jared can both wear it. So it is just a gray shirt. It's a t-shirt and it just says Rock and Roller Coaster and it has like the limo, the super stretch limo <laughs> on the front. And then it kind of has the same thing going on in the back and it just says rock and roller coaster i don't think it really it doesn't even say anything about, it has disney, nothing on about it. disney on it nothing about disney so most people probably won't even know what it is if you're not a disney fan this was 24.95 we also are annual pass holders so we get 20 percent off 20 25 i think we get 20 percent off of all the merchandise on disney property that is like disney produced <laughs> if y'all know me then you know that one thing i absolutely love Can you is see mugs it? Can you see them? Those are... <laughs> Every single one of those is a mug. One fourth of our Disney You Are Here mugs. Yeah. We always collect the new Disney You Are Here mugs. We actually collect You Are Here mugs from just about everywhere, but specifically Disney. We actually have a full new line of those out right now. And the last time that we were there, when we picked these things up, I had to have the new Magic Kingdom one. It's so, super cool. It is really cool. And what we found out is apparently at different times, they're releasing different mugs for the different parks. This one focuses on Tomorrowland, which I think is really cool. And it's all green and, it's purple, and purple on the inside, which is really neat. You kind of can't tell. Yeah, it's it kind of dark. Like, but it has Space Mountain. It has like like Astro Order. Overall, Tomorrowland, we love it, and I really really like this mug. Second Starbucks mug. Jared usually gets the mug mugs, and I usually get like the tumbler mugs, like these. This one is one we picked up and it is the Magic Kingdom version. They've started coming out with these for all the different parks. We have the Hollywood Studios one and now we have the Magic Kingdom one. It's really cool. It just has Mickey and it has the castle, Tinkerbell, it has the, par the partner statue. Hello. Yes, give me that. And it has Defender Mountain. It has Pirates. It has Haunted Mansion. So a lot of the classics are on here. It's Dumbo. It has Splash Mountain. It has a Tiki Room. I mean, it's got basically everything that makes up Magic Kingdom. It doesn't have anything about Main Street, though. Shame on you. Is it even a Magic Kingdom mug? <laughs> Main Street is pretty much my favorite part of the Magic Kingdom. It's just, I don't know, where all this joy is part. And this doesn't have a price on it, so I don't know how much it was. Okay, this mug is still wrapped up. I have no idea what this is. Do you remember what this is? <laughs> no clue. I like to just leave things wrapped if they're already wrapped and I don't know what they are, so we can just be pretty surprised. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Yay! So, in our May trip, we stayed at Saratoga Springs for three nights. Two thumbs up. Two nights? 
three nights. We stayed at Saratoga Springs and it was amazing. Two nights. So we had to, of course, it was our first deluxe resort and we definitely can say they're worth the money. They just feel different. They just, you just, I don't know, they just feel special. It was amazing. So You're Saratoga amazing. Springs is now officially special to us because it was our first deluxe resort. I guess that's why Pop's special to us. It was our first value one. Coronado special to us. It was our first moderate. And so now Saratoga Springs is special to us because it's our first deluxe. So we had to get a mug. We love Saratoga Springs because of all the horse themed things. It was amazing. They had all the Disney horses everywhere. It has a rider on his horse. Is that a certain name? A rider on his horse? Is he a called jockey. A there it is. It has a jockey on the horse. And it just says Disney Saratoga Springs. It's in like a slate blue color and then a sky blue color and gray. And I love all the different blues. It's really pretty. And on the back it says take life by the reins. And it's covered in a Mickey. How cute. And it says Saratoga Springs. And this one was $15.99. And I love the shape of this mug. We don't have any that are kind of like this. Like, is this called beveled? Uh, I, probably, yeah. I think that works. Uh, I'm not very good with words. It's rounded. Er. And it's just kind of like just a very nice cup to hold. I really like it. I'm so glad that we got this. Surprise! I know. Cheers. Mm, yeah. So the last two things that we got from the previous trip is actually two other things from Saratoga Springs. The first one is this magnet. Basically same design and everything that was on oh, the front yeah. of the mug. Oh I can't wait to put that I on I know. It's going to look so good on our refrigerator. And also a pin. And the pin's really cool because it's in the shape of a horseshoe. It just says Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa, but it also has like the same jockey on the bottom corner I'm of it. I'm so feeling all the merch from Saratoga know, Springs. So like it has such a good just like... I don't have the prices on either of these because they had the color codes on them. The pen was blue and then the magnet was purple. These were the last two things that we got from our May trip and so everything else that y'all see now will be from the last trip we went on. So all the rest of this is from the month of July, 2018. Yeah. On the subject from the previous trip of magnets, bing, we finally picked up something from Epcot 35. We went to Epcot about a hundred times, whoop, my magnet, um, <laughs> about a hundred times during Epcot's 35th anniversary. And we did not ever pick up anything. So I was like, Jared, before all this is gone, we have to get something that says Epcot 35. They like come out with like anniversary stuff, like trademark stuff. It's like about that year and something really special. I just feel like we should get it because we were there. It's like cool. Like the Magic Kingdom when we got. Like That's when our kids are 30, before. they're going to be like, you were there when it was only 35 years old. It's 178 now. Don't, don't do the math on that. Not really, so, but. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally just got the Epcot 35 mug. This is not a mug. We finally, <laughs> <laughs> so we got this magnet. We got this magnet. For the first time ever, I got to go to a Disney water park. What? <laughs> I know, I was like really thrown in there. Uh, and Britt actually completed every park at Disney now because on this trip we went to Typhoon Lagoon. Every Disney park on U.S. soil, yes, sorry. actually. That was my last one. There. Jared's got Blizzard Beach left. Yeah, and he's, I do. He'll have them all checked off. Brittany wanted to go to Typhoon Lagoon for her birthday. I, I didn't pack a swimsuit. Me either. <laughs> so I had to wear Joey's, but Jared had to buy... Hit on. Literally on the way to the water park, we stopped in the Grand Floridian and I went to one of the gift shops there and I got these swim trunks. They're so cute. They I, are. I, I they have little pineapples and palm trees on them. Awesome. You saw them. I actually technically picked these up myself. Oh, I think I picked them up and said, <laughs> do you like these? But these are trunks brand, like they're literally swim trunks. And I think they were like $39.99. They were really comfortable. I really liked them. And they're like the shorter ones. Like Jared, <laughs> he has little, little legs. And so, like, when swim trunks are really long on him, they just, like, kind of swallow him up. So, these are, like, the shorter ones, and they look really good. Disney has come out with new spirit jerseys. I have not jumped on the bandwagon of the pink spirit jersey and the rose orange spirit jersey because it is not rose gold. It is straight up coral. And now they have this new iridescent that's, like, teal spirit jersey. They have all different ones, but I got two different ones that I haven't seen a whole lot. So, this is one that Jared... I'm, I'm claiming credit for this one. <laughs> he was like, I have to give you this shirt. Brett's going to be the one wearing it, but this is really my spirit jersey. On me. Do you see that? Move. Move. <laughs> Monsters University. Monsters University. Yes. <laughs> this spirit jersey is 
Amazing. It's such a brilliant royal blue. I love it. It's like literally spirit. Like it's it's representing a university, <laughs> like a team. So this is Monsters like Monsters University. This is like the ultimate spirit jersey. And this one was. Ha, oh, it has a tag. Ha, I didn't wear it. $59.99. I've saved it. And then Uno Dos. Trying to get to the second number in Spanish. I got this one. It's the red, white, and blue one. Since we went in July, I figured I might as well get a patriotic one because we barely missed 4th of July. But I went ahead and got the red, white, and blue. And I love it because it's striped on the bottom. It's kind of nautical-ish. Yes, it's, yes. it's like my cruise line one, except mm -hmm. it's blue and white striped versus like white with blue stripes. So it's inverted color. And this one has red on it. That one's like my cruise one and this one is my American one. American one. And it has a red classic Disney World logo on it and it says established in 1971. Well I'm so excited about this. As soon as I saw it I was like Coming home with me. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually Brick's shirt that I'm gonna show you off, but in case you didn't know, Toy Story Land is now open. Yeah. The walls are down, everything is good to go, and to commemorate, Brit had to have a Toy Story-esque shirt. So it actually says I'm a nervous Rex on it <laughs> because at the bottom as he's creeping into the frame. Hey how's your Rex! <laughs> he's my favorite Toy Story character. Him and Jesse are my favorite. It just totally fits Brett too if you ask me but it's I think it's a really funny play on words and it's a really cool t-shirt and we got it because Toy Story Land opened and we were there on this trip for that. And Rex is my favorite. And Rex is our favorite. <laughs> we actually have the tag on it. It was $24.99. Oh and the spirit jersey both of them were like the $59.99. I think every spirit jersey across Disney property is $59.99. So if you've ever been to Disney World in the summer, you know that it rains every single day. For some reason we packed ponchos, but we forgot our umbrella. That might be like, wait, you had ponchos. Why did you need to bring your umbrella? I hate when it rains and I get wet. So sometimes when I wear a poncho, I still get wet. My hair still gets wet. So. We bought an umbrella so we could still hide under an umbrella with our ponchos on. I always feel like people are going, gee, that must be nice. I don't have anything and I'm soaking wet in the rain and they're wearing a poncho and have an umbrella. Care to share? So I always feel like I need to go past my umbrella to people who don't have ponchos, but then at the same time I think, they sell ponchos in every store. So if you're wet, you're doing it to yourself. So we bought an umbrella and we had the Mickey Mini one already, like Mickey mini. They have two different ones. We have both of those and we forgot them at home. So now I think we have just about all the Walt Disney World umbrellas. So now we have this one and it just says Mickey and it has the top of um, Cinderella's Castle and it says Disney Parks. So I guess they sell this one at all of them because it says... Yeah, probably so. Wow! This one got made, or either they don't sell it, but I'm pretty sure it got made before Shanghai was open because this says Anaheim, Orlando, Tokyo, Paris, Hong Kong. It doesn't have Shanghai on it. We need an updated version. I need a new umbrella. I need all the parks on my umbrella. Of all the products that they have at Disney World, and if you stay there, then you know, like if you stay on property, then you get supplied with shampoo, conditioner, soaps, that sort of thing every day. It changes. It does change. The scent changes changes but it's always H2O Beauty partnered with Disney. I've now found my absolute favorite one y'all and it is the Sea Marine collection. We bought. Yeah we didn't just get one set. We got three. We got three. Jared loves this stuff. Because I cannot run out of this now. Sea Marine revitalizing shampoo. And we got the conditioner to go with it. As if we didn't have enough <laughs> take home tiny tubes in a huge bag in a closet in our bathroom. He was like nope that's not good enough. If they stop nope. making this I have to have all of it. Because that happens. They change it up like a lot all the time on their shampoos and stuff. It used to be grapefruit and then it yeah. was like a citrus one. So now they're on the Sea Marine one which is the best one. And I really really one. fell in love with it while we were on the cruise. And since since then, like, I've still tried to use it even at home from what we had left. Because we've never actually used the Disney shampoo and conditioner, right. really. We always just take it home. And I like to put it in, like, a guest bathroom or something for whenever my guests come to stay with me so I can give them a little piece of the magic. So we don't ever use it. And so the first time we did use it was on the Disney cruise. Yes. And because we were so in love with the Disney cruise, we wanted that memory to come home with us. And it was so special. That smell, you know, when a smell just, like, clings to a memory? This 
one did it for us. So I know it's crazy. It's just a shampoo and conditioner, but it's a special one, guys. And they still don't have the price tag on them. Do you remember how much they were? <laughs> Too much <laughs> for Disney. Especially shampoo. since we got three of each. But we won't run out anytime soon and we'll have clean hair. I think it's like $20 for the shampoo and $20 for the conditioner or $30 for the shampoo and $30 for the conditioner. It's somewhere around there. Whenever they rang me up and I was just buying shampoo I'm, and I'm a hairdresser and so I get like actually really good shampoo at a very discounted price. I was like, Bleh. no wonder some people don't want to buy shampoo after they pay to get their hair done because shampoo is expensive. Oh, also guys, I just pulled my hair back and I realized I was wearing this shirt. This shirt says, I heart Walt Disney World. This is from Magic by Mindy and she was so kind enough to send me and Jared two different shirts. He has a Oodalala Oodalala God What A Day shirt from Robin Hood and I have the I heart Walt Disney World shirt. I brought it on this last trip but I ended up wearing like dresses the whole time so I never got to wear it but it will definitely come with me on our next trip. I have the whole outfit planned. This shirt, red shorts, red sequin ears. So thank you so much Mindy. I have so thoroughly enjoyed the shirt. I love wearing it. So if you don't know we went to Disney in July for my birthday and to celebrate Jared picked up this bottle of wine. I've actually only tried Once Upon a Vine a couple of times which is the name of this wine. It is, if you can't tell or if you don't know about it yet, it is a play on the show Once Upon a Time. They have a wine that's like themed after it. The label is just like the beginning of the, the series, how it just kind of like gives you a sneak peek of like what's gonna happen. This one is obviously Cinderella. So this one is Cinderella themed and it says Lost Slipper Sovereign Walk. So that's it. Never actually get to crack it open while we were there. No, we were so busy and I felt so bad. Jared's like, I got you some wine and I'm like, they didn't have Moscato, that's all you usually They drink. have a champagne one, which is probably the one I would drink, but he probably saw Cinderella on this and he was like, Took, here you go, wife. Actually, that, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella is my favorite, but I will probably drink this. I'll just mix it with grape juice and make <laughs> it wonderful. So we have a few cups to put our wine in, like a teacup. <laughs> this mug is the cutest mug I think that Disney has ever produced. It is a mug that I wanted forever. They had it in every color that is in the teacup ride. So all the teacups, so cool. they have yeah. the yellow one with I think orange on it, they have the purple one with yellow on it, and then they have this mint green with like a periwinkle blue on it. So mint green, green is my favorite color, so of course I went for this one. It was you like periwinkle too. I do too. So these are basically my two favorite colors. And it's the cutest cup. So it's the spinning teacups from Magic Kingdom. And it has all the little designs on it. It even has the indention. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here of where like the door opens to get into the ride. This is it. Like if if I, if I could just put Jacques and Gus Gus in it and like just spin them around, it would be like a mini ride for them. It's perfect. So this mug was $19.99. So Britt thought that she found her perfect mug. Let me show you mine. I saw that and I was like, wow. Actually, hold on, let's do it this way. <laughs> this is, without question, my favorite mug I've ever gotten at Disney. I can see that. Yeah, definitely. Without question. The genie is my absolute favorite character. The whole mug is shaped like genie. It even has the lamp on the back. When I saw it, I just immediately like instinct. I was like, Britt was like, you got a mug? I was like, yeah, look at it. I saw it down there and I was like, I bet Jared was like that. And then he found it on his own and I was like, yeah, so definitely, so like, without hesitation, this, this mug was coming home with us. It even has, like, the it, little gold... Yes, his little, uh, wrist, like... Or is it his earring? I think that would be his earring. Oh, it's his earring, because look, it's right here. Yeah, you're right. Like, on this his is ear? actual ear. Yeah, good job, Rip. Yay! <laughs> this mug was $19.99. He got that genie mug at the confectionery on Main Street. The first store on the right is opposite of the Emporium, whenever you walk into the Magic Kingdom. And I also got this wonderful sparkly pink mug there <laughs> I love it so much so it's like a tumbler mug and I guess I don't know I would probably put cold drinks in this yeah. which I'm so excited because every time you see one that's like shaped like this it's usually, it's usually, usually glass and you always have to put coffee in it yeah. and I don't drink a whole lot of coffee so well I do decaf and I don't drink a lot of caffeinated coffee which is kind of hard to find and I'm so excited that I can put my spark in it and my drinks in it and everything I need in this little mug and it's Perfect. It is millennial pink and it is covered in glitter. Hello, honey. <laughs> You're coming home with me, honey. It says, if you need me, I'll be in my castle. <laughs> this mug was $22.99. <sighs> Can I just be a princess on it? Oh, 
Oh, I forgot something. While we were talking about the H2O Beauty, I forgot that I picked these up. I brought some makeup wipes, but I just got them and they were like off brand to like Dollar General ones. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna have really sensitive skin. So I was like, did I did not. So I picked these H2O Beauty Elements Wipe Away the Day Face Cloth. And they're cool, like they stay cool. Very Do you cool. feel like they're cool? <laughs> like they're like cooling. I don't know if they're supposed to be, but or if it's cold in here, which we're surrounded by lights right now, so I'm assuming they just stay kind of cool. And it's just their elements. I don't know if they have different scents, but that's what this says. All right, guys, we're about to get on a really personal level here. Let's and get <laughs> a little intimate here. So the next thing that I got was this pair of boxes. Undies. <laughs> hey. I, was, I pulled this out of the way. I was like, oh, this is kind of weird, but here we go. Anyways. Everybody wears. I would hope. <laughs> These actually have the seven dwarfs on them and they are very, very, very soft and comfy. They have pajama pants that match this too. They do. I didn't get the PJs, but this I got the boxes. This is a new design too. Yeah, I've never seen these. We got these inside the gift shop, like beside Casey's. Uh, these were $19.99, but I'm really excited about them because they feel so comfortable. I'm probably going to take a shower and pop those on tonight. Yep. Y'all know what Jared's wearing to bed. I think this is really the only t-shirt. There might be another one, but as far as I can see, this is the only t-shirt that I got. And this is a new t-shirt that's at Soren, And I love this t-shirt. I cannot wait to wear it. And it says Sky Commander Soren, and it has a little meow. And it says, Soaring Around the World, Fearless Pursuit of Adventure. Soaring is seriously one of Britt's favorite rides, so it's perfect that she got this. And the super cool thing about this shirt is like this. The velvet part of it? Yeah, the, the like dark maroon color, like this one. All of that is like that felt feeling, like that velvety, felty, just, you know, this. Do you hear that? <laughs> It's that. Now that y'all can hear the difference, you know exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> this shirt was $34.99. Okay. I have Huey, Dewey, and Dewey. So these are three little hippos. So if you watched our last vlog, you know where I sat and I was like, oh my gosh, I love these. And I was just, there was a bunch of these and they were like in a basket at Epcot in the Africa Pavilion. It's not really a pavilion, it's just an area. It should be a pavilion, but it's just kind of like this area. And they have a whole basket of these. <gasps> Hippo's foot is chipped! Oh no. Hooey Dooey or Louie. I don't know which one you are, but. They're kind of porcelain -y. I guess, but these are really, really heavy hippos. No pun intended. So I got one in purple orange and this pretty pretty light blue and they each have different painted designs on them and Jared was like what do you need three of these little hippos for and I was like well I make ears for a living also I'm a hairdresser but for the main part I make ears we have an ear shop called Main Street Ears if you didn't know check it out and so I have to cut fabric and when I go to cut fabric that stuff moves so I'm like ooh heavy hippo heavy hippo heavy hippo I'll be like bink 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 like in my corners fabric weights fabric weights from Epcot. These were only $5.95. I've said it in our vlog. These will be the best souvenirs because they are so cheap and they are so cute. I, w I mean, if someone gave me this, I'd be like, oh my God. This came from Disney. <laughs> and it's so cute. All right, so this is actually Brett's too, but I'm gonna talk about it because I'm holding it right now. She actually got this hat on the last trip. And Brett doesn't usually wear a whole lot of hats, just in general, but she does wear Disney hats. Like It's really the only hats Pretty much the only kind of hat she'll wear. So it says royal blue with this green stitching on it, and it says P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. <laughs> Do you know something really, really embarrassing about myself? I'll just go ahead and say it. Whenever they say P. Sherman 42 v Wallaby Way, 42 Sydney. Wallaby Way. That, when they say that a bunch in the in the movie, I don't think, okay, that's actually like a name and an address and a city. Like, I've never, th I just thought it was like this place. And so when I looked at it, I was like, that kind of looks like you would address an envelope. It is. It's Mr. P. Sherman, Philip Sherman. That's what we're naming P. Philip Sherman. At 42 Wallaby Way. He lives on Wallaby Street, aka Way. Way. And it's in Sydney. What's NSW? It doesn't have like a zip code, which is where I guess that's why, because it didn't have a zip code. We have zip codes. But, anyways, I just realized this was an actual physical address, imaginary one, but still, this was supposed to be an address. Oh my gosh, I am so. 
challenge sometimes. This was $24.99. Moving on. Can you believe that? Can you believe that I thought that was just a thing? I didn't think it was a place. Next we got a pencil. <laughs> and it's an American Mickey pencil. Okay, now he's stupid. That's a pen. So we're guessing this pen is around like four or five dollars, but we do know that if you buy them and return them, because you, you bought 78 of them and you don't need them all because you were just happy, you bought all the pens, you won't get it a... Sounds like you've done that before. Yeah, you get about half as much as you paid for them. So before you buy these pens, do not anticipate returning them and getting them full price. <laughs> I feel like we're probably the only ones that's ever returned those pens. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably like, did you address 782 <laughs> letters and now you're returning it? Guess where you could have addressed one? Where? P. Sherman 42 Wallow Dewey Way in Sydney. Because that's an actual address that you would send something to. You know, we should mail it to there and see what happens. I'm going to type it in Google Maps and see what pops up. Think it's really a place? It's probably going to pop up Pixar Studios in Hollywood, California. It's just going to pop up a big picture of Nemo. The next thing that I got was a tiny little ear hat keychain. It's like the classic and, Mickey uh, hat. Yeah. <laughs> I got my dad this keychain actually. So um, within the last week, I have become officially an aunt, and Jared has become an uncle. Chaz and Macy, if y'all know, if y'all watch our channel for a while, we had family vlogs. We had family vlogs, and Chaz and Macy got engaged in it. Well, now they've been married, and now they have a little boy. And so I saw this keychain, I was like, oh, my dad loves Disney, so gotta get him this keychain to like represent him becoming you know a grandpa and it he's gonna be called top so I found this one and it says pops on the back of it so I'm gonna get some fingernail polish and just part of this so the next two things are actually earrings these are one of the pair that came in this little bitty box these are just some like little silver Mickeys and they have like little I guess Swarovski not Swarovski um cubic zirconium like little studs in here and I can only wear these for about an hour before they start to really irritate me or so I have to take them out. So I just put them in for the video and I'm going to take them out. These are sterling silver earrings and apparently I cannot wear sterling silver. I always forget that I can't wear it and I'm like, oh, sterling silver, I should be able to wear that. Mm -mm. I'm always reminded that I cannot wear sterling silver. But these were $39.95. But for some reason, I can wear these. These are crystals from Swarovski. These are the little bitty Mickey gemstone ones. They are like birthstones. And so we went in May. For, so I guess it should have been in the beginning of our vlog, but I forgot about it. But when I've already, I started saying anytime we go in the month, I will pick up the, the birthstone that goes with the month that we're there. So I can eventually collect all the different colored Mickeys. So we went in May and so I picked up the emerald ones, which is actually my favorite stone. So that worked out. And it's my wedding stone. So our last trip, as Brett said, was in July. And while we were there, we were got to this big thing about celebrating Christmas in July. Which, if you don't know, is July 25th. <laughs> so to commemorate, and because we were in the Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom, we picked this little guy up right here. We were in the Magic Kingdom on Christmas. We were. So we have us a little countdown that we can use this year for Christmas. We have one that we got ordered from Disney online for Halloween before, no, but we no, don't actually, I don't one. think we had a Christmas one, and now we do. This is the new theme that they have for the holiday things this year. I really like it. And it's it. kind of like a really throwback to kind of an old school Mickey and Minnie cartoon. It's kind of like it's the new bubbly Mickey and Minnie kind of that they have, like that new, the new one, but it's like got this like vintage filter on it, it. so it all it looks very classic so last year everything was retro yeah. and this year everything's classic and vintage yeah, yeah I was gonna say, the stuff last year like it'd been from like this like you would see 60s or 70s ish I think mm -hmm. this is just I don't know like she classic said classic I love um, it. this was $27.99 and I just think it's gonna look really cool, like just up on our mantle whenever we decorate for Christmas this year. So, speaking of Christmas in July, if you didn't see our post on Instagram, we posted this 
little baby right here. <laughs> this is the cutest little ornament. It is Mickey and Minnie in the sled, so Mr. and Mrs. Claus delivering toys. And there's a little bitty Donald in the sack. It is so cute. And it has little Christmas wreaths on the side, and it just looks it's like such a classic, beautiful ornament. All the white parts of their outfits are covered in iridescent glitter, and it's just so classic. It has a gold ribbon, so I can't wait to hang this on the tree this year. I think I'm going to have a Disney tree in my office this year. That sounds good. I'll have to show y'all. It lights up. What? what? It says light up. <gasps> Shut up. All right, the last thing Christmas thing we got is we picked out the other ornament and we also got this one because we love this little guy here. We love Zero. It's Zero. And if you didn't just see in that clip, <laughs> we just found out it lights up. What? Can you see a difference? Probably not, but it lights Let's up. See. Okay, turn it off. Off. On. On. Off. 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 It's a little pumpkin. It's a little pumpkin on his nose. But it's always been a pumpkin. I know, but it's still, they highlighted that a lot. It's very, very like Christmas. So, like, this was such a cool ornament. I love it so much. Christmas. This one retailed for $24.99. I think we actually got maybe a little deal because we bought more than one, but. If you um, bought them separate, it's $24.99. So we have two more cups. We got this Soarin' Tumbler like thermos thing. It does not keep things very cold. I will tell you that. We have a swell bottle that we had left at Joey's house and we forgot to pack it. We'd ha we packed it. We had ice in it and it was ready to be packed and we left it on the counter. So when we got there in the summer, you have to have water. So we had to buy something to keep water to be able to carry around with us and so we bought this at the little soaring gift shop outside of the ride and it just says soaring around the world and it has a little logo of the glider and it has a soaring s on the back and this was $19.99 but unlike the swell bottles and the thermos that I got the Mickey Mouse thermos that I got from Target yeah. those do not get cold on the outside this got so cold on the outside I could barely touch it so this does radiate the heat throughout or the cold throughout and it did not keep the water as cold as I would like for it to have it definitely did the job as far as keeping water colder than it would have been in July carrying it around in your backpack and we really enjoyed it and it has it a just, flip out straw on it too. Yeah, it has a flip out straw, so you just flip it out, drink it. But I will say that after you've drank it and then you flip it back in there, it creates some type of like suction. And so when you open back up, you like spews you with water. So get a little spritzing with that one, keeping you real cool. And the last cup that we got is this glass thing. I don't, I don't have anything like this, and I saw it. And it says, be kind, be sweet, be mini. That's like this new saying that I'm noticing that's in the parks. So I thought that this design was really cute. It's just a glass, I don't know, cup. And it doesn't have like a spout or anything. It's just a top. And so you just have to open it up and drink it like this. And then close it back up. And the top is plastic, but the rest of the bottle is glass. And this was $22.99 and I found this in the Art of Animation gift shop. So I've been wanting these for a really long time and I was going to order them on Amazon but they're kind of expensive on Amazon and I found these in the Japan Pavilion. These are those Dream Feet Exfoliating Feet Masks and <laughs> you know I'm all about that life. When you walk around Disney your feet get a little warm and they need some extra love. So apparently these are like this boot that you put on and it releases something and it like helps you peel out off like the whole like outer layer of your skin from your feet and like takes all the dead part off of your feet. So I got two of them. One for me, one for Jer. I think we're actually going to use these tonight because I know my feet, I, I'm not speaking for you but for myself here, my feet look like trash right now. Trash? Just, like a garbage <laughs> and <laughs> Like they're so, they're, we just walk on them so much all the time, especially coming back from Disney. These will definitely, these will definitely, definitely help. help for sure. And these were only 
$9.95. And these are from Mitsukoshi. And like I said earlier in the video, you do not get your annual pass discounts or any type of discounts from the Mitsukoshi store. So we did pay $9.95 for these. If you know us, you know that we can never come home without snacks or food of some sorts from Disney. This time, we actually limited ourselves. And this is like the only bit of food that we came home with. We this did stuff. come home with a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, that's right. These are like little strawberry sour bites or like strips. They are so good. They're better than like the candy store ones yeah. like that you get in like the mall and places like that. These are the best ones I have ever had. They are so sour. Me and Joey were eating them. We were like, <laughs> they're so sour. I These, love them. They don't have the price tag still on them. They're probably like $7. Probably. $6, but they have like Mrs. Incredible on them. They have a lot of different flavors and a lot of different characters on the outside. They have, they have like Goofy's Candy Company. Yeah. I remember in the vlog whenever we were at the trip, I was trying to figure out if they had replaced Goofy's Candy Company with like this type of packaging. So if you go to Disney a lot, you know that this is new. So they have new candy, meaning more candy. They have the classic candy that they've always had and they've added to the collection and they have it in Pixar packages. I'm looking because I can't find my other magic band, but I got two magic bands this trip. I got this one because Lavender is quickly becoming one of my favorite colors and you can only get fun colored magic bands like outside of the mold of like the regular pink, orange, yellow, blue, green, and now black. Do you see what color magic band this is? It's Lavender. Heller, you was coming <laughs> home with me. It has figment on it and it is lavender. I bought the Toy Story one too and it is like aqua. It's like that turquoise color. I was thinking, ooh, how, how fun would that be if they came out with lavender? She literally, literally y'all, she said, man, I really wish I could get a lavender magic band. Oh, so perfect. This is the <laughs> most beautiful color and it is not hurt that it has figment on it and it is so cool. So this is forever my new Epcot magic band. I have one more. Those two I did buy in July and this one Jared surprised me and bought me um, in May for our anniversary and this is the white and it's not even white because the other ones are like crisp white like my Dalmatian one but this one is like a cream white so they can literally make these any color they want so this is a creamy white Dooney and Burke magic band and it is the passport collection <laughs> so if you've seen like two hauls ago or one haul ago the passport collection is my favorite yearly collection that's ever come out so it was only fitting that I had the magic band and Jared was so sweet to pop into a store and surprise me. I had no idea and he gave it to me and it came in this precious box. It did not come in that other packaging like you just saw. It came in a, like a separate suitcase and it has Magic Kingdom right yeah, here. Yeah, so this is a suitcase, like passport, travel. You know, there's a reason I keep him around. <laughs> He's also smart enough to know what address is. Can't let him go, guys. But it's a suitcase, and it's so cute, and it has a little latch, and it opens up. And how cute is that? It was $48, too. What? It was a special budget band. Well, I mean, it's Dooney and Burke, and it's like a limited edition, so. Well, I won't get another Dooney and Burke. Maybe. I'm very proud of that one. <laughs> that one was really special, so. That's probably the only one I would spend that much money on. In, in all honesty, like you wore that one like every day on this last trip. Until I did. You, until you got the Toy Story. I think, I, yeah, and then I only wore the Toy Story one at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. So other than that, that's my favorite magic band. Like, mm, that one. It goes with everything. It has every color on it. All right, so we mentioned that Toy Story lands out. You know who else is, is out right now? Not one, but two. Plushies. I know. Where's <laughs> Pooh and Tigger? They were sold out. They sold out like the Hot morning cakes. we got there. They the girl said that they had sold out completely. So they did have three piglet left on property, and I got one of the three. And so I got the piglet and I got the kangaroo. They did have a ton of kangaroos in Eeyore. They're probably always gonna have Eeyore, bless his little heart. And so just like in true Eeyore fashion, <laughs> he's probably gonna get left behind because he wasn't Brett's favorite Eeyore. He was not cute. Like I love Eeyore. Look. There's my Eeyore right there, and this is the cutest thing, Eeyore. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. But the new Eeyore, like the new Eeyore in the movie is cute. This plushie was not cute. It was like mean looking. I was like, you are not coming in with me. 
Thank you, Lord. So we haven't actually <laughs> said it yet, but these are like the official plushies for the Christopher Robin film that is currently out right now. We just saw it. They're it was so such cute. a good movie. Of Look, course, Brent had to have one. Rue comes out of the pouch. <laughs> so these were perfect, and I cannot wait to get Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I just feel like I have to get Eeyore if I have all the other ones. It's just not fair. So Piglet was $24.99, and Kanga was $39.99, and you get a little Rue with it. So I guess that would, this one is a little bit more expensive. Okay, so if you've watched our, I guess, in Salas, yeah, you will know that in my office, I'm trying to start a gallery wall above my sewing machine because this is my office that we're in right now. I currently live in here. That's why all of my Disney stuff is in here because this is where I make magic. I make ears and send them all over the world. And so I'm in here probably 80% of my awake time. So I want it to be beautiful and I want it to represent things that I love and I want to have pretty things to look at, obviously. So she just have a lot of pictures of me. I do, I do have, I have one, two, three, four, I have like five pictures of you in here. Things that so, are pretty and things she loves to look at. So, I bought my first print. My office is Cinderella themed. I got a Cinderella print and this, this is Walt Disney's favorite scene from any movie, in case you didn't know. It's when Cinderella transforms into her dress. So the title of this print is called Until Midnight and it is a Don Ducky Williams print, I guess illustration, and it has some information about him and the print on the back. I'm so excited to have this print hang on my wall uh, as if I need a little bit more Cinderella in here, but you can never have too much Cindy, huh? And I did pick up two more prints. Three more? Three more. What? I thought I only had two. So I got a Daisy, a sassy Daisy because <laughs> she's one of my favorite of the Fab Five. Well, she really isn't even a fat five, which is unfortunate. I'm looking at you, well. <laughs> and then I got Jessie, because apparently, according to all of our viewers, is me. <laughs> and Toy Story Land this time. Yeah, and Toy Story Land this time, but oh my gosh, do you remember when we first started putting out videos? Everybody was like, oh my gosh, Brit sounds like Jessie. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of act like her too, though, in fairness. I like her, so I'm gonna take it as a compliment. And then the most special of all of them is this one right here, which is Winnie the Pooh dressed in a honeybee costume because Winnie the Pooh is my favorite. Christopher Robin just came out and I just got a new nephew and he is going to call me Honeybee because Winnie the Pooh is my favorite and Aunt Britt just sounds boring, so <laughs> Honeybee it is. And so I got this print and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna get an ink pad and I'm gonna put his little feet on the back of it and hang it in my office. So that's so special. And all of these prints were $45. Yeah, they were all $45. Literally the last thing that we bought before we left Disney property was this guy. We had to buy <laughs> another suitcase. This is suitcase number two that we had bought on a trip because we bought too much at Disney. And this isn't even all we bought because there's gonna be a part two to this. Actually, it's gonna be, wait for it. Please, dear God, brace yourself. It's gonna be a Disney World Dooney and Burke Hall. Wait, what was that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a Dooney and Burke Hall. I have five things that I have bought in the last trip and trip behind this one that I have not shown y'all, so so I didn't have to sit here and show five different Dooney and Burks. Oh, I sound like a brat saying that out loud. I just really like them. Well, I'm gonna put those in their own video, so I don't have to sit here for 35 minutes talking about five <laughs> different Dooney and Burks. But basically, we had too much stuff, not enough suitcase space, had to go to the gift shop and get this one. This is totally like a whole new luggage set that they have. They make this in one other larger suitcase than this one. I love but this It is suitcase. super light. It's, it, I think it's pretty well made. Um, it rolls very easily, which was a positive. The last one I got didn't actually roll that great, but this one really does. I really, really like it. And so we'll have another piece of luggage to carry with us on all of our future trips now. I think it'll be a good, it's a carry-on size. Yeah, it is. It's, so it is an actual carry-on carry on. size. I think it was $130. $135, yeah. $135. And then our 20% off. And so. then the one above that was like right at 200 I believe, so. We just needed yeah. like this much, much space. more space. And so I got it with this guy. He's, 
His fish and I, fish. I did actually get it in our gift shop at Art of Animation the morning that we were packing up to leave. Like 30 minutes before we needed to leave the hotel. We were so like, oh. once again, Disney uh, Resorts came in in the clutch when we needed a little extra suitcase space. All right, y'all. We hope you loved this haul. We really had such an amazing trip. When we got all these things, I think we got some really, really cool stuff. Thank y'all so much for watching. As Brett said, there will be a part two to this. You may not see my face in it because it's just going to be doing in Burke. You can maybe just come hang out. Like a little cameo appearance. 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 Cameo appearance. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Thank y'all so much for watching. We love y'all. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye guys.